What's up, Dokkan player? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Blaze. Today, we are back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, before we start the video, of course, hopefully, you guys are having a very, very good day today. And today, we have a very special video. As you guys can tell here, we have a guide here for the yellow coins here. Now, this video is me, uh, sorry, is going to be meant for, sorry, the new players of Dokkan because when it comes to these big hype celebration, there's always going to be a lot of players in the game of Dokkan new players to be specific here so i do want to make sure that i give my two cents here just to help you guys out when it comes to the yellow coin guide here so as you guys can tell here with the introduction of the lr mvp 17 and the l sorry the lr golden frieza we do have here now the lrs that we can buy in the baba shop here now these characters you can actually buy all of them with your yellow coins now the only exception is that these two characters here the super 17 and the lr tape and monosha are not going to be available because it's just too soon for them for you to buy them but do not worry because you can actually still get them for free. Very small chance here. Um, well, actually not. Well, I mean, with the tickets, obviously, right? So uh, in this banner here, you know, it's a very bad banner. I would say, in my opinion, I would say that you should not summon on this banner. But again, it's really up to you what you want here. Now, before you actually go into the Baba Shop and actually buy your first LR with your yellow coins, uh, you actually want to go ahead and actually just postpone that or actually just wait. And the reason why is because if we actually go here to the towards the end of the anniversary, we have here the 66 ticket special summon, right? So this is basically a very, very good summon. Um, I feel like every player in the game of Dokkan should definitely do this, even if you're free to play, because this is a guaranteed free LR. Now, this is the reason why you actually want to save your yellow coins, because if you do this multi-summon, you can pull one LR, you can pull two LRs, or you can even pull three LRs. I've actually seen it here on YouTube. And you know what? If you actually use your yellow coins, then maybe you might be wasting them, because you could probably could have put pulled them here uh, with, of course, here your free LR66 uh, summon ticket. So you definitely want to hold on to your yellow coins. But if you cannot wait, then obviously I'll show you what characters you should probably get with your yellow coins here. Uh, but again, I would definitely recommend that you just hold on to your yellow coins just for a little bit because, again, um, when this drops here, you get these characters in the Baba Shop will still be available, right? So again, once we get all 66 tickets, you can still buy uh, the uh, characters here the LRs in the Baba Shop, so there's no, really no rush here. Now, if we actually look here at the characters that you can actually buy with yellow coins, in my opinion, if you cannot wait, the character I'd probably prioritize if you don't have any of these LRs is actually going to be here, the SCR UI Goku. Now, the SCR UI Goku is just very, very good, especially during the celebration when it's going to be around the reps on Universe 7. He is just so good, he's just on so many teams, and he has a very good passive. Now. If you guys follow me, you guys don't have my love and hate relationship with the UI Goku. And the reason why is because even though he has a 70% chance to dodge, um, sometimes it could feel like a 30% chance to dodge, and I kid you not. So, again, UI Goku, SCR is very, very good. He does lead here the Realm of Gods category, keep plus 4 HP attack and defense 130, or the SCR type, keep plus 4 HP attack and defense 100%. Now, his super attack effect is really, it's okay. It's not really the worst thing in the game of Dokkan. But his passive is just what makes him very, very good. And this passive right here can definitely carry you to, and especially a difficult content here. Now, with the six year anniversary, as you guys know, we've been introduced here to the Gods of Destruction. Now, I can tell you type advantage, type disadvantage, or type neutral. This UI Goku is very, very good. And the reason why is because of his dodging mechanic. Again, I know sometimes RNG can be a little bit of a bad factor if it's not being on your side, but if it is on your side, you guys will definitely know here that he is going to be very, very good because in the God event, which is the hardest content on Dokkan as of right now, uh, you only have access to one item here. And using this character will allow you to actually prolong the usage of your item because, he, again, he does have that 70% sorry that seventy percent chance to dodge, which is very, very good. And also, each time he does dodge an attack here, he does get here an attack of, let's see here. Um, he, get, he does get here attack and defense plus, 70, sorry, plus 11% up to 77%. So... Basically, if he dodges seven times, which probably could happen in the God event or even the Legendary GT Goku event, he will be very, very good. Now, especially in the Legendary GT Goku event, which is also one of the more difficult content in Dokkan when it comes to the mission specifically, uh, Reps on Universe 7 is a very hard one. So if you don't have the new LR UI Goku or the Vegeta, this character can definitely carry your team here because, again, this dodging, even after his seven turns, he still has a high chance of dodging attack, which can be very, very clutch. So... Again, once he's fully built up, he still has here tremendous defense, but he also has here a 50% chance to dodge after 7 turns. So again, this SGR, sorry, this SCR UI Goku is just very, very good. So in my opinion, I would definitely recommend that with your yellow coins, you should prioritize this having this LR because he's going to be very, very good here. 
Now, with your yellow coins, you also have your other characters. You have your Tech Jiren, you have your Broly, you have your God Goku. You also have your the LR Goku and Frieza. Now, again, it all depends what you have in your box here. Now, for my second choice here, um, it could be probably my second, my third choice or my second one, but I'd probably just say it's actually my second choice here. So, your second choice, which you probably want to go ahead and get here, is actually going to be here, um, Jiren. Now, Jiren is just so good. Um, Jiren is just a really bad boy. He's just very, very disgusting. And honestly, he's a very good purchase with your yellow coins here. Now, I probably, I mean, actually, no scratch. He's going to be my number four pick. And the reason why is because there's actually other LRs, which I definitely recommend with your yellow coins. But first off, we're start off with here with Jiren here. So Jiren is going to be the leader for Universe 11. The only problem with Universe 11 is that it's a very small category. But Jiren is actually very, very worth your yellow coins here. Um, he's just super omega powerful. His super he does actually lower defense, which is not really the greatest, but... Could play a factor here with the LR Goku and Frieza because they're getting their easy A and they become very, very good. Um, and also here you have here his passives. He, he does actually get here attack and defense plus 200%. Uh, key, sorry, key plus one with each attack received up to key plus five. And his attacks are also effective against all types if the enemies attack down or defense down. So again, Jiren is a very, very bad boy. He also has a, this beautiful active skill, which is kind of like good and bad because i mean the condition is not really the greatest but i mean you can definitely have it uh pop off in super battle right so once i believe he actually gets here attack hits more than five times as you guys can see here you can actually use his active skill which he does increase attack and defense by 30 percent and all enemies attack and defense minus 30 percent and stuns all enemies for one turn so that is very very useful for super battle so jiren is definitely gonna be very very good here um so then he's also a very good unit to cop here with your yellow coins. Now actually the number two character you probably want to go ahead with your yellow coins if you do not have this character yet is going to be Broly. Now SDR LR Broly you definitely want to go ahead and cop with your yellow coins. And the reason why if you guys saw the 5 Night Gaming here for the LR Easy A list. He is the best LR Easy A. He's also top 10 LRs in the game for sure. So you definitely want to go ahead and get Broly. Now Broly is just so good, so disgusting. It's really hard to really not like this character. I mean, his only weakness is that he is a slot 2 character. But his Extreme Z Awakening is just so good. He, I mean, he's definitely better than LR Goku and Frieza, in my opinion. Just because what he brings to the table, right? So, he does raise attack and defense for one turn on both his 18-key his, uh, super and on his 12-key super. But also, his passive is what makes him really dangerous, right? So, his passive is going to be attack and defense plus 50%. Plus initial attack and defense plus 50% and launches an additional super attack uh, when performing a super attack and also gets key plus 5 when there's a pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans. Category enemy attack affects against all types and guaranteed hit when there's a Goku's family category enemy. Now Goku's family I want to say makes up about like a good 75% uh, of the game especially when it comes to, to hard content like the legendary GT Goku event. And this SCR Broly I kid you not is actually going to be very very good. For your yellow coins especially even at 55 percent this scr broly can take you very far in the game here so with your yellow coins you definitely want to go ahead and pop or you actually get your broly because broly is just so good he's actually also on a lot of, a lot of teams here as well he's on resurrected warriors movie bosses pure saints full power target goku exploding rage revenge inhuman deeds planetary destruction and by the way all these stages uh, for the next couple of months coming here on global are getting some are gonna be added to super battled or are gonna be added to extreme super battled so again this broly is a very very good investment for your yellow coin so i definitely say number two for this character because he can definitely take you very far sorry very very far in the game of dokkan um so yeah broly is a i would say if you have srui goku um already rainbowed or if you have him at 79 percent definitely use your coins here to at least get a broly your first copy of broly because he is just so disgusting right so that's gonna be my pick for number two. Uh, again, SCR, sorry, SCR LR Easy A Broly is just so disgusting uh, in the game of Dokkan. Now, another character you can actually bring here or actually buy with your yellow coins, what I, I would recommend is actually gonna be here uh, LR Goku and Frieza. And the reason why is because these characters are actually, if you actually don't have a copy of them yet, they are gonna get their Easy A very soon in the third part of the anniversary. Um, again, these guys are, in my opinion, the, the second best LR Easy or the second best Easy in Dokkan, just because they do so much damage after the Easy Easy A here, right? So, both under 12 key and their 18 key super, they do raise defense for one turn and cause a mega colossal damage, and they also do lower attack 
uh, both on their 12 key super and their 18 key super. But on their 18 key super, they also do lower defense. Now, this is where this character becomes very interesting is that with their easy A, they actually have this disgusting passive here. So, when the targeted enemies attack down or defense down, or if their status is stunned or, is, or if the super attack is sealed, they get their full passive, right? Which, again, it's just very, very disgusting. So, these guys, are, their easy A is very, very good. And again, if you don't have their copy here yet, I would probably say get them with yellow coins. But again, what's actually going to be pretty interesting is that you can actually get them in their upcoming banner here. Because if you guys know on the JP version, they were the first LR Easy A, some will LR Easy A. And they did come here on a banner here. So there is going to be a top legendary banner for these, for these LR, for LR Goku and Frieza. So you probably want to make them your third choice just in case you are going to summon on their banner. But it's not really a bad banner, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. But again, if you have everyone else here, at least Rainbow or 79% with your yellow coins, then I'll definitely say recommend you to actually go here for the LR Goku and Frieza. Um, these are my, I, th I think I'm going to do like a top 5 pick or top 6 picks with your yellow coins here. Because all these acts are very, very good. But I mean, there's just some characters that you just have to go and get with your yellow coins here, right? So, so far we have here the SR UI Goku. Then we have Broly. Then we have Jiren, then we have here the LR Goku and Frieza. Now, of course, how can I forget? We have here the Turles here. Now, SCR Turles, I would say he's very good. He's just, you know, very, very good. Is he needed in a game of Dokkan? I mean, it depends where your account is. Um, right now, he is going to be a leader here for the Terrifying Conquerors. Now, the only thing is that the Terrifying Conquerors has so many support and has a very good leader to this day, which would be SCR Cooler. Um, they're very, very good. Um, but the only thing is that their best linking partner is going to be here, of course, another Turles, which hopefully in the future they will get their easy A. But SCR Turles, even at 55%, is a juggernaut, right? So if we actually take a look at his passive, he does he does have this very good passive. So he has attacking defense 130. Um, sorry, he has attacking defense plus 130. Terrifying Conquerors, category allies, key plus three, and attacking defense plus 30%. This right here, I'm a big fan of, and this is why Turles is actually very, very good because he's also supporting here the terrifying conquerors with a very good support passive right he also gets here key plus six and attacks effects against all types when the target enemy is stunned which again he does have a medium chance of stunning the enemy on his 12 key super um and also has a 50 percent chance of, sorry a 50 percent chance to stun the enemy on his 18 key super so again turles if you feel if you actually build him with more additional he becomes a very dangerous uh character and also he's actually the only character in the game of Dokkan to have a double active skill because you can actually activate when your HP is below 60% or um, from the start of after the 8th turn here. So again, Turles, SCR Turles is actually a very dangerous LR. So he is going to be definitely worth your coins here. So again, that's going to be my top picks here for your yellow coins. I mean, the other characters are very, very good, but they're just not on the same level as these characters here, right? So again, my suggestion, if you do have your yellow coins, you definitely want to go ahead and go for the Int UI, go, uh, sorry, the uh, Ultra Instinct SCR Goku. If not, definitely go for Broly because Broly is very, very good. And if not, then you want to go here, either go for Ella Goku and Frieza or Jiren. And then after that, you can actually go here for Turles here. I probably would say Jiren as we probably be your last choice. Just because Turles, I feel like it's much better than, um, than Jiren here. And the reason why is because he does have that beautiful passive support here for Terrifying Conquerors. And if you actually take a look at Terrifying Conquerors, they are super stacked here. I mean, they have a lot of LRs, a lot of good free-to-play LRs, because you also have this Frieza here, SCR Frieza. So, again, they're a very good combo. And look at this. This right here is just a very strong category compared to Universe 11, right? So, um, again, I would definitely say, probably save Jiren for last. So, actually, we start here again. So, we actually, with your yellow coins, want to go here for the SR UI Goku. Then go for Broly. And after you want to go here for the LR Goku and Frieza. Then go for Turles. And then go here for Jiren. Um, as your choice here for your yellow coins. Uh, the other characters like here the uh, Tech Gohan. He's very very good. But I mean hybrid Saiyans are just. You know they're just so completely stacked here. They're also getting a new Dokkan Fest as well. Um, so again the. And also if you have here the Int uh, Gohan here as well. I mean. Again, these two, well, after he's easy ace, he's actually just the same character as this one right here. So, again, it all depends. But, I mean, Tech Gohan, Super Saiyan 2, as much as, as, as I love this card, I just don't think he's worth your yellow coins compared to the other options. Uh, Goku Black, definitely not. He definitely needs some help here. 
even though with level 10 links here, I feel like this character is just, you know, really, he actually needs a lot of support, because defensively, they're not that great. Uh, we also have here the LR Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku. He's actually a very good, very good option, but right now he's not needed. Uh, well, he could be needed because he's actually a Rainbow Orb Changer, which is actually very impressive. So, I mean, you can definitely get your copy of the Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku. He's actually very good. Uh, Mighty Mask, no. LR Kion Khalifa, you can definitely get here with Yellow Coins because they are actually very good when it comes to the game of Dokkan because they have a very broken passive when it comes to the Pure Saiyans or Universal Survival Saga because... They can attack multiple times in sector defense uh, non-stop for like 99 turns. So, they're a, another good option here. Rose, SCR Rose, I probably would not. Just because we are missing like another character to make this character much better. We definitely do need like an easy Goku Black or another Dokkan Fest Goku Black. Because the one that's currently in the game of Dokkan is just not that great. Uh, the GT Trio, I mean, they're okay. They're good. They're just, they're just okay in my opinion. Um... The In God Goku, definitely a very good card here. But again, you could probably pull them in your free ticket summons here. So, again, that's going to be the video for today. I'm not going to go to every LR in the game of Dokkan. But, I mean, again, these are my top choices. And, of course, here's going to be the UI Goku, uh, Broly, Turles, Jiren, and also LR Goku and Frieza. And the rest all depends what you have in your box here, all right? So, that's going to be a video, my boys. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if this, guy, if this video actually helped you guys out here. Let me know if you guys use your yellow coins already. I actually bought, got here my first copy of Jerk because I just couldn't wait no more. But yeah, uh, again, this is going to be a very sh um, a video here. Sorry, 40 new players of Dokkan. All right. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit like button. Sub for more videos coming down below. And hopefully, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.